There's a reason this boy's so happy. He and other passengers have earned a free ride by trading in plastic waste for their fares. Indonesian people use a lot of plastic bottles, but plastic bottles don't degrade, so this program could be a very good solution to the plastic problem in Indonesia. Here in the Indonesian city of Surabaya, an hour-long bus ride costs just a few plastic bottles or 10 plastic cups. The scheme has been welcomed by people in a country that's become the world's second biggest marine polluter, according to a study by the journal Science. Today it's clean. There is less rubbish on the streets. This program can always raise awareness among children so they will understand that such waste should not be thrown away. Authorities here say about six tons of plastic waste are collected from passengers each month. It's a small step by the government, which has also pledged to reduce plastic waste. This woman uses the bus about once a week. She says the Trash for Tickets program is changing how people view single-use plastics. I think so. Now people in the office, at home, they are trying to collect it instead of just throw it away. So um, let's say we are going on the weekend and we have some mineral water and we always remember to keep it because uh, we can exchange it with the, the, uh, the bus ride. A 2016 report warned that if nothing changes, there will be more plastic by weight in the seas than fish by 2050. And advocates say small schemes like this one are bound to inspire more measures globally to curb the threats posed by disposable plastic. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.